Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So I went to Costco. Um, so I have been blessed and I'm so thankful for a beautiful opportunity. It's just unbelievable, this opportunity that we were given. Um, and part of this, it is cooking and I needed to get some meats this week. So anyway, um, I ran to Costco to pick up their chicken because I like to get their drumsticks or their chicken wings. Um, so I picked up one package of the organic chicken party wings. You guys know I always get those. My Costco, these usually come in a two pack. Um, now they're selling them individually. So I got one of those. And then I rarely ever get chicken breasts, but um, one of the nights they want us to make chicken breasts. So I got one package of the organic chicken breasts. So here we go. This is almost five pounds, fourteen twenty. This one's a little over six pounds, thirteen eighty nine. And then this one is a little over five and a half pounds at twenty seven eighty nine. So that's what I got for the protein. I'll be going to my butcher tomorrow because there's like steaks and hamburgers. Costco didn't have my grass fed grass finished burgers that I love. So I'm going to go to the butcher tomorrow and I'm going to be getting like a, a brisket, hamburgers, steaks, tri, tri tip roast and all that good stuff. Um, these, because we're going to be needing them for grilling and smoking. Um, this wild planet, I usually like to get the skipjack because there's not as much mercury, but this was on coupon for I think three or four dollars off. So I picked one up. Um, our bacon, so the bacon that I've been getting has been from the butcher. It's the butcher, butcher cut thick bacon. Um, but since I was at Costco, I picked up a pack. I'll throw this in the deep freeze and that way it's just like a little backup. I saw these, I don't know. I don't know why I grabbed them. I haven't bought these in a while and I just noticed they're reduced fat. So I think these are going to my mother-in-law. Um... I don't know why I got these. They looked good while I was there and I typically like to get it freshly sliced from the deli. But now that I saw that, that'll definitely go to my mother-in-law. Um, the keto ice cream bars, I have not purchased these since January or February of this year. And I really, really love the enlightened ones, the dark chocolate and then the peanut butter ice cream bars that are covered in dark chocolate and peanuts amazing um from what i remember these were really good i had bought two boxes and we ate them we thought they were good but now that i've been eating those enlightened ones i'm curious what i think about these now um but if you haven't seen them which i'm sure you have it's the sea salt caramel from the keto pints here are your macros and your ingredients all right um i did get a package of the organic chicken stock this is for actually bella for her food some caesar salad it's really easy for me to just grab this if i'm making wraps um, i'm going to be making a lot of different kind of side dishes to go with all these proteins for the next two weeks so one of them um i need some mushrooms for one of them so, so I, I actually picked up the mini bin uh the mini bella mushrooms um this keto bread so my Costco had it last time I went I didn't get it because we've really been enjoying the solar bread it's really good um but I was there today I saw it again and I thought you know what let me grab it now I am going to be cleaning up my keto eating but there's people here that are low carb so I got that for them I will try a slice I'm not going to lie to you here are the ingredients, very dirty, we know. And then there's 12 carbs minus the 12 dietary fiber, which is zero net carb for this bread. Saturday morning, I have lots of errands. Quick keto breakfast, keto friendly bread, zero net carbs. I went ahead, toasted it, just added a tiny dab of butter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and smear a little bit of this hazelnut spread. Some of that hazelnut spread, some sliced fresh strawberries, and drizzle a little bit of this chalk zero caramel syrup. Drizzle a little syrup. 
and done oh my gosh i can't wait to try this let's try this bread see if it's good all right i took a bun it's good it's doable it's not as soft as the solo bread that you guys always see me haul it actually reminds me of the aldi zero carb bread so it's a little harder um we'll eat it but i definitely like solo bread better cheers um we didn't care for the one from aldi Honestly, it tasted like a bunch of chemicals. Um, the Sola bread that I've been enjoying, I really like it. So, I don't know. We'll see how this one goes. I bought a two-pound pack of Driscoll strawberries. You know, berries are good to go on keto. Um, some avocados, because I always get avocados. Excuse me, pardon me. Some asparagus, because, I mean, who doesn't love asparagus? My favorite, you guys know I absolutely love Brussels sprouts. Love these. Oh, I have a new um, recipe to make, two new recipes to make with these. I've never picked up the uh, seasonings from Costco, but I really go through uh, garlic a lot. So I picked that up. I know it has carbs, I know. And then heavy whipping cream. I just, I typically don't get this big thing because I probably won't go through it, but I'll need to now that I bought it. Um, but I don't have any and I didn't want to stop anywhere else on the way home. So there will be a part two. Like I said, I still need to do like, you know, get like my staples and my local grocer. And I am going to my local butcher tomorrow. So there will be a part two or three. If you've tried this bread, let me know down in the comments section your thoughts. All right, friends. So here we have part two to that haul. Um, I went to a local meat market. It's called Reams. So anyway, I got some baby bag ribs, three slabs, so a brisket. I'll be smoking a brisket. Um, I did pick up just peppered bacon, a pound of it, just to give it a try. It's the it's the butcher cut peppered bacon um ribeye boneless steaks we got four of those some hamburgers this is a sirloin tip roast it says marinated because i think they had them on sale the marinated ones but i just asked for a plain one i will put in my own seasonings they had these chicken wings there, the Smokehouse Rub Chicken Wings. We got just um, like eight of them, just to give them a try. So eight little wings. They gave us a little smoked sausage for free. This Texas style smoked sausage, we picked that up just to give it a try. And then they also had this um, chorizo there. It was only $4.26. So I picked that up just to give it a try, see how that is. And then two bags of the salt and vinegar. Four grimes. This is the brand. Zero carbs. Yeah, that's it. That was this haul. So stay tuned for uh, just a little bit of footage while we grill them and smoke them. All right, friends. So last little haul for this week. Um, this stuff here is from a local store called Meyer. Some things are from Target. Let's go. Solar bread. These buns were still on sale, two for four. So we got four. No, they're not all for me. Yes, I'm going to be cleaning up my eating. Yes, I'll still occasionally have them. I'm not going to be 100% clean keto. Um, I'm just on a journey to better eating, cleaner eating than what I do now. My journey, comparing myself to the way I eat now. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're also making a ton of uh, burgers for people. Um, we're having just like a little family get together. So this is what I'm going to serve for them. Um, Minute Maid juices, again, I like them. I don't drink them every day. See, somebody that's low carb um, actually already opened up the mango. But um, I picked up one mango, one fruit punch. These tend to be the two flavors that everybody likes to drink. I still have regular lemonade and pink lemonade downstairs. But every week I do just pick up one of each just because I am so stocked. Um, Sola bread, they were on sale a dollar off. So I think $3.99 or $2.99, something like that. I picked up the sweet oak and then the, the seeded. Um, I wanted to get the double chocolate solar granola because if you watched my 
If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I use the double chocolate for cereal. It was so good. I'll insert a clip here. I'm hungry and I want some cereal. So let's try this. So this is the Solo double chocolate granola. It is so good, so good that I'm gonna use this as some cereal. I'm gonna use some coconut almond milk and then I have, um, it's toasted coconut, by the way. And then I have some toppings I'm gonna add. Here are the macros. You can go ahead and weigh it out for the serving sizes. Add your granola, some of your almond milk. I'm adding some walnuts, a little unsweetened shredded coconut, and I'm gonna top it off with this. Here's your macros and your ingredients. I love Chalk Zero, love Chalk Zero. Currently I'm hosting a giveaway over on my Instagram. Go enter, it's on my Nutella roll post, and here's a discount code for you if giveaways aren't your thing. And drizzle just a little bit of syrup. And done. Yum. Here. Super delicious. They were out of it, but they did have maple pecan chocolate, which I've never seen there before. So I picked that one up. The double chocolate is delicious. And then the vanilla one, I'm not the biggest vanilla person, but boy, was that delicious. I hauled it in my last haul. Um, I also picked these up because we are making burgers today. It's a different occasion than this. This is just for right now, for like five of us. Um, this loaded cauliflower, because I'm like, what am I going to make? I don't want to make the jicama fries. I don't have a taste for those. What am I going to eat as my side besides like a little salad? I wanted something. So I know I could make this myself, you guys, but you know the way that my life is set up. It's better that I spend less time on my, on my knee. Um, so I got this, I like the Alexia brand. I got the loaded cauliflower with white cheddar and uncured bacon. I figure, let me show you the macros here. And there's the ingredients. So I figure I can really doctor this up myself and then fry up a little bit of more bacon and just doctor it up a little bit myself. It'll take me less time than to take the whole head, cook it, you know, clean it up, cook it, all that. So that's what I picked up. I forgot how much that was, $4.99 maybe. My bubbly, I got a 12 pack. I already took some out to put it into my fridge because I love this stuff, you guys already know. I needed some onion powder. This was the only thing they had for onion powder, any brand, this is it. And I just saw it and it was the only one that they had too. So I don't, what's with onion powder? Anybody know? Let me know down in this comment section. Is onion powder like hard to come by? Um, I got some Slap Your Mama because I've seen a couple of people on my Instagram, some of my close keto gals use this. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give that a try on some chicken this week. Um, smoked paprika, again, I can't get like the big one. I can only get these little ones. Some Parmesan. Um, this is for a recipe for some Brussels sprouts that I'll be sharing with you guys. Now we're gonna pop over to Target. Target, I got this mini dash ice cream maker. It was on sale, $2 off. I'm not gonna give up ice cream. I'm just, I'm not, I'm that much of an ice cream lover. So this was on sale, I picked it up. I'll be making a few of my own. Not that I'm not gonna buy any, cause I do like the Enlightened Bars. I do like the Rebel, the Coconut Almond Swirl is my favorite. But I would like to make like my own strawberry, you know, just give it a shot. And for $17.99, what am I going to lose? $17.99. Um, and then I'm going to be making ribs. You saw me haul a bunch of ribs. So on my ribs, I'm going to be using this. I really do like this. The raised no sugar added. Um, I ran to Home Goods today looking for fall stuff. My Home Goods doesn't have any fall decor out yet, but you guys. You've seen me haul these before, and I can tell you, even though as dirty as I eat, I've never used these. I've bought them before and have given them to one of my nieces. That's so she goes away to college. She takes them with her because her and her roommates love them. I bought this, look, $6.99. This does have the sucralose, but I thought, how fun if I wanted to make an occasional fun drink in the summertime or in the in the fall, this would be really good. So I got, it has, it's a little three pack of salted caramel, caramel pecan, and then vanilla caramel creme. So I thought that would be really good. And for $7, again, if I only use it once or twice or don't use it, 
I'll give it to my niece. Um, and then Target gave me this, you know how Target and Walmart always give you like little freebies? I've never tried this. Super Espresso Protein plus MCT oil. It has one gram of carb. I've never tried these, but you know what I'm going to try? I'm going to pop it in the refrigerator and try that someday during the week. And then I have um, 10 minutes up the road. I have a bunch of farms around my subdivision, you guys. Um, one On one side, I have fresh eggs. Most of them are horse farms. I, I live like around a lot, a lot of property, like hundreds and hundreds of acres these farms have. Um, so there's a farm like 10 minutes up the road. They're, they mostly do a lot of sweet corn, but this year they built the cutest little storefronts and it's on your honor system, of course. Um, you go there and they have so many good things. I went and I forgot my card and they, I only had a few, a few bucks for cash. Well, I had like 20s, but they're not there to, you know, give you a change. So what I went for, long story short, was I went for zucchinis because they had posted on their Facebook group that they had a ton of zucchinis last week. Well, this week they're out. Um, I really wanted to do some zucchini votes this week. Um, but what I, while I was there, I just grabbed what I could get with the little bit of money that I had in my wallets. Um, so I grabbed just a little pint of tomatoes. I'm going to go back this week because they had some really big, beautiful looking ones. And there was some in there that were like yellow and orange. And I thought, wow, that would make a fantastic salsa. So I'm going to go back and grab some of those. And look at these cucumbers, you guys. This is all organic stuff. I love that family farm. They have... Um, honey from a local bee farm <laughs> um that's up the street from me um i just i love living out here i really do and i've really been taking advantage of it this summer um and i apologize i should have been hauling this all summer long that's why in a lot of my hauls you don't see the produce you don't see the meat because i do like farmers market a lot of times i'll even buy meat at my farmers market um like butcher bacon stuff like that so I should have been sharing that with you, but now I know you guys want to see it because you've left me comments, you sent me messages on Instagram. I will start sharing that with you. So let me um, just say thank you so much for spending some time with me today. This has become a long video of this part just for this little haul, but I just wanted to share this with you. You guys already know I absolutely love Sola. I tried that, wall, that Costco bread. We're going to use it. I'm going to freeze one loaf, but... I won't buy it again. I'm not a fan of it. I, I like Sola bread a lot. Um, yeah, and that's it.